Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x plus y is equal to 2 and x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equal to 152. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 2 and we square both sides of this equation. This x plus y whole squared will become x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to 4. We move this 2xy to the right hand side then this will become x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 minus 2xy. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we take a cube of both sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 2. And we take cube on both sides of this equation. This x plus y whole cube is equal to x cubed plus y cubed plus 3 times xy times x plus y is equal to 2 cubed is 8. Now in place of this x plus y we put the value of x plus y 2 from equation 1. So this will become x cubed plus y cubed plus 3 times xy times 2 is equal to 8. Next x cubed plus uh, y cubed plus uh, 3xy times 2 will become 6xy is equal to 8. We move this uh, 6xy to the right hand side then this will become x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 8 minus 6x y. Let's call this equation equation 4. We multiply this equation 3 by this equation 4. We multiply equation 3 by equation 4. So left hand side of equation 3 is uh, x squared plus uh, y squared times uh, left hand side of equation 4 is uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to right hand side of equation 3 is uh, 4 minus uh, 2xy times uh, right hand side of equation 4 is 8 minus 6xy. Now this uh, x squared times uh, x cubed will become x to the power 5 plus uh, x squared times uh, y cubed will become x squared y cubed and y squared times x cubed x cubed y squared y squared times y cubed will become y to the power 5 is equal to 4 times 8 is 32 4 times negative 6y negative 20 xy the negative 2xy times 8 is negative 16xy negative 2xy times negative 6xy will become plus 12x squared y squared. Now we combine these two terms x to the power 5 and y to the power 5 like this x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 plus from these two terms x squared y cubed plus x cubed y squared we can factor out uh, x squared y squared in bracket left uh, x plus y is equal to 32 this negative 24 x y minus 16 x y will become negative 40 x y plus 12 x squared y squared 
Now we replace this uh, x plus y and this uh, x to the power 5 plus uh, y to the power 5. x plus y is equal to 2 and x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equal to 152. So, this will become 152 plus x squared y squared times x plus y is equal to 2 is equal to 32 minus 40xy plus 12x squared y squared. Now, from these two terms, we can factor out 2. In bracket left, 76 plus x squared y squared is equal to, from here, we can factor out 2. In bracket left, 16 minus 20xy plus 6 x squared y squared. If we divide both sides by 2, this 2 will be cancelled with this 2. And here we are left with 76 plus y squared is equal to 16 minus 20 x y plus 6 x squared y squared. Now, we subtract 76 and x squared y squared from both sides. So, this get cancelled, this get cancelled and this equation will become 6 x squared y squared minus x squared y squared will become 5 times x squared y squared. This negative 20 x y negative 20 x y and 16 minus 76 will become negative 60 is equal to 0. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by 5, then this will become x squared y squared minus 4 times x y minus 12 is equal to 0. This x squared y squared can be written as x y whole squared minus 4 times x y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation in terms of x y. It is factorable. We write this x y whole squared x y whole squared and we split this negative 4 x y as plus 2 times x y minus 6 times x y minus 12 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out x y in bracket left x y plus 2 and from these two terms, we can factor out negative 6 in bracket left x y plus 2 is equal to 0 and this uh, x y plus 2 is common. So, we factor out this uh, x times y plus uh, 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, this x y and this negative 6 in bracket left uh, x y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x y plus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x y minus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x times y is equal to negative 2 and uh, from this equation we get the value of uh, x y is equal to 6. We recall equation 1. Equation 1 is uh, x plus y is equal to 2. Equation 1 is uh, x plus y is equal to 2. We write here equation 1 x plus y is equal to 2. 
Now we have two systems of equations. First we solve this system. From this equation we find the value of y is equal to 2 minus x. We replace uh, this y with this 2 minus x. So this will become x times 2 minus x is equal to negative 2. And x times 2, 2x x times negative x, negative x squared. We move this negative 2 to the left hand side, this will become positive 2 is equal to 0. Now, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So, this uh, negative x squared will become positive x squared. This uh, plus 2x will become negative 2x and this uh, plus 2 will become negative 2 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times negative 2 plus minus square root of place of b squared, we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 2 divided by 2 times a is 1. x is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus minus square root of this negative 2 squared will become 4 negative 4 times 1 times negative 2 will become plus 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus root 4 plus 8 12 divided by 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus this root 12 can be written as root 4 times root 3 divided by 2 x is equal to 2 plus minus root 4 will become 2 times root 3 divided by 2 next x is equal to we can factor out 2 from the numerator so this will become 2 times 1 plus minus root 3 divided by 2 this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we get the value of x is equal to 1 plus minus root 3 now to find the values of y we recall the equation we recall this equation y is equal to 2 minus x. We recall that y is equal to 2 minus x. So, y will be equal to 2 minus this value 1 plus minus root 3. And this will become y is equal to 2 minus 1 minus plus root c. We get the value of y is equal to 1 minus plus root 3. Now, now we solve this system, we find the value of y is equal to 2 minus x. We replace this y with this 2 minus x, so this equation will become x times 2 minus x is equal to 6. x times 2, 2x and x times negative x and negative x squared. We move this 6 to the left hand side, this will become negative 6 is equal to 0. Now, we rearrange and multiply both sides by negative 1. So, this negative x squared will become positive x squared. This plus 2x will become negative 2x this negative 6 will become plus 6 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times negative 2 plus minus square root of 
in place of b squared we write in negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 6 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus minus square root of this negative 2 squared will become 4 negative 4 times 1 times 6 negative 24 divided by 2 times 1 2 in x is equal to 2 plus minus 4 minus 24 will become root negative 20 divided by 2 in the x is equal to 2 plus minus this uh, root negative 20 can be written as a uh, root 4 times root 5 times root negative 1 divided by 2 in the x is equal to 2 plus minus uh, root 4 will become 2 times uh, root 5 this uh, root negative 1 will become i divided by 2 x x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 1 plus minus root 5 i divided by 2 now these two will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get the values of x is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 i and to find the values of y we recall this equation y is equal to 2 minus x so y will be equal to 2 minus this value of x 1 plus minus root 5 i and y will be equal to 2 negative 1 minus plus root 5 i and y will be equal to 1 minus plus root 5 i. So, when x is equal to 1 plus minus root 3 then y will be equal to 1 minus plus root 3. And when x is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 i then y will be equal to 1 minus plus root 5 i. So, the final set of uh, solutions of uh, x comma y is equal to 1 plus uh, root 3 comma 1 minus root 3. And the second pair is 1 minus root 3 comma 1 plus uh, root 3. In the third pair is uh, 1 plus uh, root 5 i comma 1 minus root 5 i. And the fourth pair is uh, 1 minus root 5 i comma 1 plus uh, root 5 i. This is the final answer of uh, this equation.